Today, my six-year-old friend Xander and I are building a birdhouse. It's an easy design that you can make with your kids. Coming right up. Knock, knock. Who's there? Girl. So yesterday, Xander and I made this, which is the beginning of a birdhouse. Remember, we yep. drilled and we threaded all of the sticks onto wire. And today, we're going to make the roof for it. Now, it's a kind of a homely looking roof that we're going to make. It's very silvery, but it's puffy and it's, it's got good insulation. How Don't you make think? Make it puffy. Well, we're going to use this kind of glue. Oh, the glue is in it. Yeah, the glue gets puffy. So it's really sticky glue. It's called Gorilla Glue. Puffy, puffy, puffy. <laughs> you ready to go? We've got four layers of, of tin foil here. So you'll, you'll start with the bottom layer, put one layer of glue, then we'll wet the other side that's going to go sandwiching with it because the water helps activate the glue. So it makes it bigger? Makes it go puffy. So I'm just going to make it go like Ooh, this. Oh, it looks cool. So now that I've got that on there, you can become the official spreader of the glue. Right there. Okay, go ahead. I'll hold it for you. We don't want to tear the foil, so you can't press too hard. Then we'll put a little bit of a thin film of water on the next sheet. So then it makes it really puffy. Beautiful. You did a perfect job. Ah! Ah! Look at it on you! The brush I used yesterday, you should see it. It looks disgusting. It's terrible puffy. <laughs> it's terrible puffy? <laughs> yes, it is. And look, it's hard. That is really puffy glue. See, it's all wet. And I'm just going to put it on top of this one. Ready? Yep. You want to help me steer it? And smooth. So we'll make it all beautiful. Ah. Okay, so we'll do... Three more layers like this. First the glue, then the then spreading, the water. then the water, then the sandwiches. Can I touch it? Yeah, go ahead. Feels wet. Well, that's because it's wet. Voila! Figure it. I got carried away. That happens. Yeah, because when you're having so much fun, you get carried away what you're doing. Exactly. You already know about that, eh? Lots about that. Do the water this time? Okay, trade me places. B. And smoothing. It started to get puffy. I know. And you know what's really nice about that? It makes um, this is full of air. And so when the little ceiling that we're making is full of air, it'll help keep the birds warm. What we first have to do is, is make a circle, and then we're going to form this. Okay, so this is a crochet hook, and it's the only thing I found that won't cut the foil. It's making a nice little dent, but it's not cutting through it. Do you want to do your side? You don't press very hard. You just drag it around on the dull side. Do you know how to find the center of a circle? Let's get it right on the edge like that. Right. Like that. Okay, so... That's half a square, isn't it? I know now. You do? Yep. You do? Because I didn't know yet. If, if, if I was you, I wasn't. If the outside was that, you would know that it's not that. So if you look in the middle, you, you would see the, the center. Like just using your eye. Is that yeah. you're just going to eyeball it? Yeah, that's what you do. Because this makes it easier when there's a square around it, you're thinking? Mm-hmm, because that's the edge. Okay, you take this pencil and make a mark where you think the so dead center, dead center in the middle of the circle is. Beautiful. I'm going to go from this corner to this corner. Ready? Right through there, and then I'm going to do the opposite. Look how close you were. I was almost there. You were so close. So look what I'm doing now. I'm making kind of pie marks. Why am I doing that? Because it pushes the glue out of the way a little bit so that we'll be able to fold it up. So really then it nicely. goes really puffy. Yeah, it's going to go puffy. Can you feel it's already going puffy? Yeah, right here. But there it's really puffy. Okay, so I don't have to be too exact with these, but we just want lines yeah. that we can fold it. So there's our roof. Now we just have to wait for it to finish getting puffy. It's strong. 
But you know what? Yeah. It's so strong that we can't work with it now. We can't turn it into this shape, can we? I made this yesterday. You can see how puffy this one's going to get. I think we should get this one cut into this dome shape now while it's still a little bit wet. The way that we can make this shape, which is a cone, is to cut into the very center just along one of the lines, like this. And now I can bend it along these little lines that we made because it's starting to get a little crunchy in there. So see what I'm going to do? Oh, we wrap it. It's going to curve. You got to curve it. Isn't that nice? And then we got to curve. And, then we gotta and what are we going to do with that? Tape it. Yeah, baby. I'm just going to do that so we can get a little underneath. Beautiful. Yeah. Excellent work. I think you might need to put one more piece over the top because there's a little tiny hole there. Beautiful. This is going to be the nicest, most coziest birdhouse any chickadee ever had. So we've ma made our nice little cone roof and we're going to let the glue harden up and finish getting puffy overnight and then we're going to put the whole thing together tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. Right? Yep. Do girl.